The second Sunday of Lent, we always hear about the story of the Transfiguration on the Mount. Mountains are always seen as a place of encounter with the divine. And in the Transfiguration, Christ's suffering is tied to His future glory. And it's meant to strengthen the disciples who witnessed this Transfiguration. When we think about it, it should also strengthen us in our Lenten journey and in our journey through life. Today's first reading, we hear about another encounter on the Mount. And it's Abraham sacrificing his son Isaac. Of course, the thing is, Abraham doesn't actually sacrifice his son Isaac. No, instead, God provides a ram to be sacrificed in Isaac's place. That is a prefigurement, though, of what God the Father does for us. He doesn't hold back from sacrificing his son. And that's what St. Paul talks about in today's second reading. The fact that if God the Father did not spare his own son but handed him over for us all, will he not also give us everything else along with him? Will he not guide us and strengthen us in our journey? You know, it's interesting when we go to churches, when we go to the Mass, we see that the sanctuary is a little elevated above the rest of the church because that is also a place where we can encounter the divine. That's also a place that we encounter God's love. The Mass, the sacrifice of the Mass, that's where we experience the great love that God has for us in giving us His Son to die on the cross for us. And so, as we continue our Lenten journey, May we be strengthened by this Eucharist, by the knowledge of God's love for us, that we might be able to join Christ on the cross on Good Friday, so we might also be able to join Him in His resurrection on Easter Sunday. And that's my Sunday game plan.